have a question. Since this year is the leap year, meaning February has 29 days, for people who are actually born on February 29th, do you celebrate on the 28th, March 1st, or every four years when the 29th rolls, rolls around again? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Nothing to do with tech news, but this is Netting Daily. Chinese company Oppo has just announced a new quick charging standard for their phones. It's called Super VOOC. I didn't come up with it. While you might think that this isn't very exciting since Qualcomm has already shown off what Quick Charge 3.0 can do, you might want to change your opinion. At the Mobile World Congress, Oppo demo device charging from 5% to 58% in just 5 minutes. And if my math is right, which it usually isn't, you can get a fully charged phone within 15 minutes. So like, it goes 0 to 100 real quick. The secret to the fast charge times is a new low voltage pulse charging algorithm. This allows for the battery to be charged safely and without raising the temperature significantly. While there aren't any Oppo phones with the tech out right now, expect to see devices to ship later on this year. In an effort to prevent online fraud, MasterCard is introducing Selfie Pay. Yes, that's right, a selfie based verification system. You'll need to install a special app that maps your face and stores it on MasterCard's servers. The app also supports fingerprint sensors so that snapping a picture isn't the only way to verify. And to prevent someone from holding up a photo of your face, the app will ask you to blink. MasterCard Identity Check is set to launch in the UK and 14 other countries this summer. So like if you, if you want to buy that new 980 Ti, just pull out your phone, go to Go to the app and just let me take a selfie. Ugh, plugging in your Tesla Model S to charge is just so hard. Why can't you just park it and have it charge by itself? Well, very soon you can, but the real kicker, the solution isn't from Tesla. Introducing plugless power from Evatron. Evatran? Evatran. Plugless is a wireless charging system for your Model S. There's a charging pad and a vehicle adapter. All you need to do is park your Tesla over the charging pad and you're charging. And an hour parked over the pad will give you roughly 20 miles. A full charge will take about 10 to 12 hours depending on your Model S's battery size. No full pricing details just yet, but Plugless does require a $244 deposit. Oh, you know what time it is. <laughs> Lightning round. Very nice, Tom Clancy. Very nice. Send us your rendition of Lightning Round for a chance to get featured. Activision has finally closed its deal to buy King for $5.9 billion, which now makes Activision the official owner of Candy Crush Saga. The Nvidia Shield Android TV will be getting Android Marshmallow updates starting today. There's a leaked video that briefly showcases the start menu from the HoloLens. Riot Games has released a penalty index for LCS. Penalties range from warnings all the way to a $20,000 fine. And finally, there's an Indiegogo campaign for Father.io. It's a real life MMO FPS. So basically, laser tag without the guns, but in real life with a $25 add on on your phone. It looks kind of cool. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked down in the description. Oh, saw dude. Saw dude. Saw dude. Ha ha. <laughs> you know what it is, saw, dude? Sub and win, dude. The end of the month is fast approaching, so subscribe to NCIX's weekly newsletter and you can win yourself a pair of Canto U5 powered bookshelf speakers. Just click here or the link in, down in the description for more details. And since we are talking about prizes, don't forget that every month we do have our Fans with Benefits program. All you need to do is comment on any of this month's videos and you're entered to win a pair of Canto U2 speakers. And guess what? If you're watching this on Vessel, your comments count as well. We, we just can't just leave you guys out, so yeah. Click here for sub and win and comment down below for fans with benefits. So, dude. All right, that's it for Nightlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch more videos right over here if you're bored. And if you're still bored after that, maybe follow us on Twitter right over here. I'm just saying. But as always, like the videos if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I need to go find someone who was actually born on February 29th so I can ask them whether they celebrate on the 28th or March 1st or if they consider them like a fourth of what they should be in terms of age. So like if they were 36, that means they would be 9. But if they were 24, that means they were 6.